Way and hello. My name is Isabel Allen. I am the Project Forester for Wakotuan and a member of Tenuskiming First Nation. I am pleased to bring you the third video in FSC Canada's Landscape Learning video series focusing on Indigenous Cultural Landscapes, or ICLs. We will explore what they are, why they are important, and why the ICL concept is necessary during discussions about intact forest landscapes. FSC defines Indigenous cultural landscapes as living landscapes to which Indigenous peoples attribute social, cultural, environmental, and economic value because of their enduring relationship with the land, water, fauna, flora, and spirits in their present and future importance to cultural identity. ICLs have been maintained through long-term interactions based on land care knowledge and adaptive livelihood practices. They are landscapes over which Indigenous people exercise responsibility for stewardship. This concept of ICLs was proposed by the FSC Indigenous Chamber as a way to implement the right of Indigenous peoples to free prior and informed consent, or FPIC, in the protection of intact forest landscapes. This map, taken from the Motion 34 report commissioned by FSC Canada, shows the overlap between Indigenous peoples' land and IFLs. The report found 483 Indigenous communities were located within 150 kilometers of an IFL and the treaties and recognized lands of Indigenous people cover almost 217 million hectares, which is 75% of IFLs. These are primarily First Nations lands as an information regarding Métis traditional lands could not be located. This map does not include all lands with treaties, and therefore these statistics are likely underestimated. The amount of overlap shows the need for the complementary ICL concept. This is why the Indigenous Chamber proposed an alternate landscape level designation called an Indigenous Cultural Landscape. It can be viewed as a complement to IFLs rather than a substitute for IFLs. The ICL concept was designed to reflect the values and concerns of Indigenous peoples and translate them into resource management actions. As a part of FSC Canada's standard revision process, they are prioritizing the inclusion of ICL protection alongside IFL protection. This will help ensure that Indigenous peoples' rights to self-determination and free prior and informed consent are upheld at each stage of the FSC certification process. Please be sure to check out the next video in this series, which explores the normative process that is taking place in the revision of the FSC Canada National Standard. Uh, miigwech, and thank you for watching. Be sure to share this video with anyone you think could benefit from learning more about FSC's approach to Indigenous cultural landscapes.